Hello nerds, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about difference between predation and parasitism. The predation is actually an act of preying of one animal on another animal. It means that one animal is going to attack on another animal and then going to kill it and eat it. While in case of parasitism, it is a practice of living as a parasite on or within another animal or organism. It means that the parasite is going to live on the surface or inside the body of an organism. The second difference is that predation it occurs between a predator and a prey. The predator is the animal who is going to attack while the prey is the animal who is going to be eaten. While the parasitism it occurs between a parasite and a host organism. The parasite is the organism which is going to live in or with another organism and the organism on which the parasite is living is known as host organism. For example here in this picture you can see that this is the skin of human. The human is the host while the parasite is going to be transferred from the mosquito inside the body of the human so that is going to develop a parasitism similarly here the leech is actually a parasite feeding on the blood of the human this is living outside while the parasite transferred by the mosquito is going to live inside the human body the predators they are going to kill the prey for the food while in case of parasitism the parasites they are going to obtain the food as well as shelter from the host no doubt they are getting the food from the host but another thing they are getting from the host is the shelter. It means that they are going to protect themselves and their host is going to act like their home or house. In case of predation, there is a lack of any metabolic dependency on prey. It means that if the prey is not there, it doesn't matter the, the predator is going to live on it's not dependent on the prey for its metabolic reactions for example the breakdown of glucose or the generation of energy or making of new cells the predator is not dependent on the prey for all these things while in case of parasitism the parasite is dependent on the host the parasite is going to take the machinery from the host then going to use it to make their own cells to generate their energy to break glucose or any other function which it needs to perform so they are metabolically dependent on their host in case of predation the predators they immediately kill the prey and then eat it it means that they are going to attack on the prey they are going to kill it and then they are going to eat it on the spot while in case of parasitism the parasites that does not immediately kill the host they are going to live inside or outside the body of the host then slowly they are going to get their food and in turn going to harm the predator but this whole reaction is going to take a long period of time in case of predation, the predators they have choice of prey. It means that they have multiple preys. They can eat any prey which is available at that particular time. If we take the example of cat, the cat can eat mouse as well as it can eat fish. So it has choices. While in case of parasitism, the host they are specific. It means that one type of parasite is going to live on a specific host and can't live on another host. So this relationship is very specific. The predators they are large in size while in case of parasites they are very small in size but they are larger in number. The predators they are going to attack and kill while in case of parasitism the parasites they can be ectoparasites or they can be endoparasites. Ectoparasites mean that they are going to live outside the host body and endoparasite mean they are going to live inside the host body. For example the ectoparasite is like leech which is going to attack outside 
while in case of endoparasite some kind of virus or some kind of para uh, protozoa or any parasite going to gain entry inside the human body so that's going to be endoparasite the life cycle of predator and prey are independent of each other it means that the predator can live its own life and prey can live its own life but in case of parasitism the parasites they require host to complete their life cycle if the host is not there the parasite they cannot complete their life cycle so they are totally dependent on their host the example of predation includes bear and fish fox and rabbit lion and zebra in case of parasitism the tapeworm in the intestines of cow lice on the fur of animals and fungi which is causing dandruff in the hair so these are some examples of parasitism that was our lesson on the difference between predation and parasitism if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video